What's up, everybody? Today is a very special video. It's my interview at Johns Hopkins. Great school, great interview. Actually, I, I probably didn't have the best interview there because <laughs> I got rejected. But regardless, I wanted to share my experience in the hopes that it helps you because I know a lot of people tend to turn to YouTube for interview help. And hopefully this will give you an insight into how to get to Johns Hopkins, um, how I got to Johns Hopkins, you know, what I enjoyed doing there, just some of the sites and places to see, uh, and just overall a great school, phenomenal school. So feel free to check it out and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, starting yet another journey out to today, Baltimore. Uh, currently 6.30? No, 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, my flight's actually boarding right now, but I'm in the B group, so I'll be going a bit late. Um, but, so what is it? 6 a.m., I will get on this flight, I will go to Texas, be there by 12. And then once I'm at Texas, I switch planes, and then from Texas to Baltimore is yet another three hours. But again, Baltimore is going to be one hour ahead of Texas. So even though I'm leaving here at 6 a.m., I arrive at 5 p.m. in Baltimore because of the darn time change. Um, so that should be interesting. Got up super early today. It's a great start to a good day, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to go to Hopkins. And then uh, from Hopkins, which is in Baltimore, I'll switch. Uh, not, not necessarily. So I'm interviewing at Hopkins on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Uh, and then on... Saturday slash Sunday, I will get to, let me double check, on Saturday slash Sunday, I'll go to New York, which is Cornell, so then I have my Cornell interview on Tuesday, which is election day, November 8th, and then I'll be flying back from New York back to the Bay Area on November 9th, so it's about a week-long travel, should be interesting, should be fun, uh, for anyone who wants to know the prices, let me make sure I get the prices right, so from from here to Baltimore was around like 220, but then from New York back to um, back to the Bay Area was also around like 230, 220. And this is all Southwest. I just use Southwest. Um, but yeah, it's expensive. I spent six thousand dollars so far. So hopefully these interviews go well. Should be fun. Should be interesting. I'll keep you guys updated. But I have to board now. See you guys. Two thousand years later. Officially in uh, Baltimore. I landed here, but then uh, what ended up happening was I had to take public transport. Uh, so I, from the airport, I took the light rail, which was $1.70. I ended up getting to Penn Station, which is like the Union Station in Maryland. It's right behind me. That's the Penn Station. Uh, and so if you're ever going to go to Hopkins, you can use public transport, and it's super affordable instead of Ubering. Um, $1.70 to get to Penn Station, and from Penn Station, there's an actual shuttle, but you have to stand here, which is like to the right of this man right in front of Penn Station uh, and you wait here for the shuttle and I think this is the correct location uh, the train I took over here was 170 super cheap and you have to transfer once and it was about like 50 60 minute ride and I think from here to Hopkins is much shorter than that so overall really good experience you get to see the culture and it looks super nice so it's interview day. I'm actually a few minutes early. I'm hoping I know where to go because I'm spending some time doing this vlog uh, before I actually go to my interview. But I'm hoping I know. I think it's like a minute that way. And I don't like showing up too early. Uh, I don't like showing up early at all. I would actually well, like to prefer to show up exactly on time. Uh, showing up early I feel like is very like gunnery and I'd hate that feeling. I don't I don't want people to think like I'm, I'm like that. I mean, I understand people get early to interviews. I just can't. It's very odd for me. Uh, but yeah, last time I left off, I was actually trying to find the shuttle to Hopkins, and I did, and I thought I was in the right place. I was actually on the shuttle going to the John Hopkins undergrad campus. So I was on Charles Street from Penn Station, and Charles is a one-way street. So I got on the shuttle, and I was like, hey, is this the way to the hospital? And they were like, no, this is the way to the undergrad. And the undergrad and the hospital are like 20 minutes apart. So, you know, I assumed that the shuttle going to Johns Hopkins would be the shuttle going to Hopkins Med, because that would be the school closest to Penn Station, which is clearly not the case. So if you guys are taking the shuttle, it's a free shuttle, but you should take the one, I think it's on St. Paul. It goes in the other direction. St. Paul's on another one-way street right next to Penn Station. I took the wrong one and I paid for it with my time. I got here yesterday at like nine. Um, my host was super nice. It has been a great time. I'm gonna get to my interview, but hopefully I'll make another one after this. I just wanted to mention that fact because that really annoyed me. Did not know Johns Hopkins undergrad 
and med school are this close, but they have a shuttle running and don't want to take the one to the undergrad. If you say Johns Hopkins, they'll direct you to the undergrad. So you want to explicitly say Johns Hopkins Med School. All right, here goes nothing. So I just finished interviewing. Um, actually, I didn't just finish it. The interview started at 11 and it ended around like five. Now I'm getting some dinner around here. Um, this is the pretty much the hospital. I mean, it's, it's a great place, great people. Uh, world renowned, you know, everywhere I look it just says number one everything. Look at that, number one, best everything. Um, definitely an experience. Uh, so the thing about Baltimore that you all should know is um, it's a very diverse neighborhood. But I guess Baltimore is like the hub of diverse populations. Very, very diverse. Also health disparities are pretty, pretty evident here, uh, which is why I can see it makes for a great place to practice medicine. Um, with that being said, uh, some things that you should take into account when you come here, um, it can be not as safe as um, you might think, which is why when you're coming here, definitely make sure you have an adequate idea of where you are and where you're going. Because, um, I mean, most of those places are very, very safe and they have security guards at every corner. It makes me feel very safe. I've never felt unsafe since I've been here. But um, I have heard, you know, that if you find yourself in the wrong place and you're lost, it can be detrimental to you. So make sure you know where you're going or uh, if you don't know where you're going, make sure you at least have a friend telling you, you know, these places are fine. Because uh, yesterday when I was lost, I realized like, oh crap, you know, could have been in one of those sketchy areas. Luckily I was not. Um, definitely something you want to take into consideration. Uh, the area around Hopkins, amazing, amazingly regulated, amazingly um, pretty the play people uh the security you know when i got lost the security is willing to help me every time okay it's mostly just a thing that you should remember just for your own health because i'm telling you right now this place is insanely safe but overall um the some places nearby here can be a bit sketchy with that being said i'm gonna get to the little dinner now so it should be fun um i mean tomorrow i plan to explore baltimore they have a nice aquarium around here it hasn't started snowing most of when I've been here, it's actually been super warm. Like I was super warm in my suit today and it's November in Maryland. I was told that you don't get that much snow. Housing, by the way, super affordable. Like a single, the two singles I've seen, uh, one of them is like a full on room with a bathroom, 550. Another one was much more, you know, reputable and it was in like this really nice place. I'm gonna run to make it across here. Ugh. But it was a super nice, um, place that one was 750 and again full room very furnished amazing that one was full room furnished so 750 is amazing and the other one is 550 for a single with a bathroom not necessarily furnished um but still much better than what we had at berkeley or what i had at berkeley so i found that to be amazing i love this place um facilities also state-of-the-art nothing you'll find is Nothing looks old around here. <laughs> Everything just looks so nice and modern. It's actually really, really, really pretty. All right, guys, what's up? So today, I have to take my glasses off because I realized the glare is horrible. Um, so I'm actually at Friedberg Hall right now, and it's like dead empty. It's super nice. Like, look at this. How cool is it that I'm in this like national monument? Um, so Friedberg Hall, right next to the Peabody statue. Um, so the way I got there was there's a shuttle um, from Hopkins, the Johns Hopkins Medical School. There's a shuttle. I got on that shuttle, and the first stop is Peabody. So I got off, and I was like, I wonder what this stop is. Actually, I knew what it was. It's not like I was just going where, wherever I wanted to go. Um, it's when my friend told me to get off at the Peabody stop. I just didn't know exactly what would be there. And I saw a statue of George Peabody, which is outside. Um, I went to this hall, which was open. Um, and inside there's a security guard, and he was like, so... There's nothing to really see here. And I was like, can I, well, can I just go walk around and explore? And he's like, well, are you affiliated with Hopkins? And I guess was like, yes. And he's like, okay, go ahead. No, I'm just here. Look at this guy. Also, insanely cool story. But when I got here, in front of the Peabody statue, there was like this massive fight that broke out between like a man and another man. So man A and man B. Man A was like very drunk. Um, start harassing me and B. Man B had like a dog. He asked me to hold his dog. So I held his dog and then he started calling the cops. So man B called the cops on man A and I was holding his dog and 
It was crazy, man. It's the first thing I've seen that was that intense. Maybe when I go back outside, you'll see. I think they're both still out there. Uh, oh, look, I'm, uh, I'm high up. Empty theater, man. This is amazing. I'm here around like 6, which means the library's closed. The Peabody Library is the thing that most people come here to see, but it's closed. Um, so it closed at 5 p.m., and I'm here at like 6 because I woke up very late, but it's okay. Oh, also, the other thing that I mentioned is the Peabody statue is right across the Washington Monument which is because I'm in Mount Vernon right now, which is, I don't know. I, I thought Mount Vernon was where Washington lived when he was president. I'm not sure, maybe it's not right. I'm like the worst man with history, but that's where I am. They're really nice restaurants, but Washington Monument's outside. I'll probably videotape that once I'm outside there, but right across the Peabody statue is Washington. So yeah, this is definitely a great place to hit up if you're at Hopkins, you know, it's right there, like 10, 15 minutes away. Um, now I'm just walking down. But yeah, I'll show you guys outside after this. Uh, Washington Monument, Peabody Institute, Peabody Library. I couldn't go in because I'm stupid and I got here late. So I'm outside now. Um, and we'll see something pretty epic very soon. Um, look at this right there. That is the Washington uh, um, Memorial Monument. Not sure. You know, I made a big mistake coming out this late. It closes at 5. Um, you guys should check it out. Um, oh, I could take it to the Peabody statue. Dude, some of this place looks like freaking amazingly Hogwarts-like. Look at this. I mean, it's not Hogwarts-like. Probably like legit like 1700s America, but like look at this. Like, how cool is that? You don't see anything like that in California. Oh, and there are the shuttles that you should take to get here. The shuttle stops right there, and that's how where I got off completely free. And then here's the statue of Peabody. Peabody, Peabody. There it is. Yeah, good times. So as I showed you guys already, that was the Washington Monument. There's the Peabody Institute over there. Washington Monument with all the pretty statues, um, amazing sights, that's where that is. And right next to all that is this place, the, um, ooh, let's see, the Walters Art Museum. Um, another thing you should check out, it's closed right now, but um, I was told to check it out again. Bad planning, wasn't able to get there, but you know, still pretty cool. And this is literally all two minutes away from the, from the school itself, from the medical school. Um, so I think it's fantastic like even if you're only here for a day you could check all these things out and some of this stuff it looks pretty and it's stuff I would not see definitely very cool America flag <laughs> I'm gonna go back now probably because my friend is coming back here tonight um, she's my host but she's also a college friend so I might just come back with her because she knows way more about what's going on and where it is but yeah, overall, it's been a it's been a great great time. Oh shit, that's the bus. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. And that's yet another vlog in the books. Hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs, betting benefiting from them. I'll be posting a couple more, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.